Hi, I'm Libby Dickerson with the Content Studio. And today is day seven of the 30 day video challenge. So I have a week behind me, feeling very good about that. Uh, I've tried a lot, I've experimented a lot and failed a lot <laughs> and seen a lot of things that don't work and things that do work. So this has been good. Uh, have a new system set up. I talked about that yesterday um, and trying something different today. So one thing I found is the balance between trying to figure out the right video or a higher quality video and a higher quality audio and how to combine them. So I'm still working that out, um, trying something new and we'll see how that goes today. So the important thing all throughout, as I have said, is to keep going, to put something out every day, to show my work and just to show up for my work. That's the goal. So I'm reading this book called 11 Rings. Um, the subtitle is The Soul of Success. And this book is written by Phil Jackson, who I'm sure you know uh, was a coach of the Chicago Bulls for many years through many championships. He has 11 NBA championship rings um, and also the coach of the Lakers for all those many years. So someone I just really admire, have always admired and paid attention to and his drive to succeed com combined with his spirituality has always fascinated me and really drawn me to his work and his writing and interviews and all of that. So this book, the first time I've read this and I thought I would talk about was a quote from the book. It's actually a subheading in one of the chapters, but a quote from the book that where he says, keep your eye on the spirit, not on the scoreboard. Keep your eye on the spirit, not on the scoreboard. So I think that's brilliant and um, really encapsulates a lot of what I'm getting out of the book. So, uh, and that's what I want to quickly talk about today. Three things that I've learned from the book so far. So the first thing is this idea that I'm getting from it that really what's at the heart of success in all things across the board from basketball to business, marketing in your business, just success in life is that what's at the heart of it and all those things is really the same. And what I think it really is, is a connection to something bigger than yourself, um, to this sort of divine purpose. And I definitely see that in, um, Phil Jackson's work, but also in, as I have mentioned before, in watching clients of mine succeed with marketing online, I definitely see that as a driving factor, this deeper connection to something bigger. Okay, and the second thing is um, how you, what I'm getting from him is how you really have to actively cultivate that connection to something bigger than yourself, obviously, but to a deeper purpose for whatever it is you're, you're you know, trying to succeed at or whatever it is that you are putting out into the world. So um, for him, for in, examples in the book of that are that he had players come to practice and play games in silence. He had them play entire games in the dark. Very interesting to me to see how he used those methods to have his players go deeper and tap into something bigger and more important than their individual egos, which he talks about in basketball and especially in the NBA was, you know, a, was his biggest challenge was getting past all the egos. So really fascinating because I think that's all of our biggest challenge. And the last thing is about what gets in the way and what blocks that connection. So this is what I've seen in the book so far that he talks about that really what blocks your connection to your deeper purpose and to what's at the soul of success that he's talking about is reaching and, and going after something um, more individually, more guided by ego, but then grabbing for the external um, and keeping score, you know, which is so ironic and interesting because I feel like in business, if you say, keep your eye on the spirit and not on the scoreboard, that that can seem so naive and so misguided and so idealistic. 
But it really makes sense that if you are constantly keeping score, constantly keeping your eye on that external measure, external counter, you know, constantly going off, that you so easily lose that connection to what's deeper and what your deeper purpose is. And really the sense that I'm getting from him is how staying in that connection is what made all of their success possible, all of his success with the different teams um, possible. So that's fascinating, really validating for my approach already and the way that I feel, um, especially in a world that would, would say that that's very naive to hear this person with 11 NBA championships under his belt um, say not to keep your eye on the scoreboard is really, really validating and interesting. And I thought I would share that today. Okay, that's what I have today. Same breakfast as always. <laughs> I'm not venturing away from the bagel. And thanks for joining me for breakfast again. Mwah.